Welcome back to another Foundation Friday. I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today I will be reviewing the L'Oreal True Match Liquid Foundation. This is a very popular drugstore foundation and it is supposed to be their super blendable makeup. Now my favorite thing about the True Match is that there's so many different colors to choose from. They have a huge shade range of 33 different colors and they break it down by neutral tones, warm tones, and cool tones. So depending on your skin's undertone, they should have a True Match foundation for you. This does have SPF 17 sunscreen, so it's a great foundation to have for the summer to protect your skin. And it says it's oil-free, all-day wear, suitable for all skin types. It does not claim to be amazing for oily skin, nor does it say like 24 hours, but it does say all-day wear, and I'm curious to see how well it does on my oily skin. I bought the True Match foundation from Walgreens, and it was $11.79. But if you go to Target, you can get it as cheap as six, seven, or eight dollars. The only reason I'm not too mad that I bought this at the most expensive price at Walgreens was because they were having a buy one, get one 50% off sale. So I bought the liquid foundation and the matching True Match Super Blendable Powder and got it for 50% off. So now let me go ahead and show you how I apply the foundation. Let's get started. I have already put on my moisturizer and my primer. I did use the... Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. So now I'm gonna grab my Damp Beauty Blender and my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I really hope this color works. So here's the completion of the foundation. It went on really easy, it was very blendable. I could definitely add more layers to get more coverage if need be. Right now it's not leaving me too shiny or dewy, but it's also not extremely matte, so it's a good like happy medium that should work for my oily skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face. And we're back. As many of you may know, the biggest thing for me when choosing a foundation is how long it lasts on my oily skin throughout the day. So it is currently 11 a.m. I'll be back in a couple hours and we'll see how oily and shiny I get. And I'm back, it is now 11 o'clock p.m. It does say all day wear, and I definitely wore this foundation all day. So looking at it, I don't know. I didn't mean to wear this foundation as long as I did, but I don't think I like how it held up. I was outside today, so I didn't really do well in today's heat. I feel like it kind of came off here in some areas, and I am shiny. But I'm going to now get my oil absorbing sheets and remove some of this oil. So here is all the oil from my skin. Uh, luckily the foundation isn't on here, it just picked up the oil, but I also kind of feel like the foundation isn't even really on my face anymore. I don't know, I feel like it just didn't last all day like it was supposed to. Now even though I was wearing this foundation for a very long time, I have used the L'Oreal True Match a long time ago and I don't remember repurchasing it, so I already kind of felt like this wasn't going to be one of my favorites since I didn't repurchase it back in the day. And even using it again today, I mean it was okay, probably for like a normal like six hour type of day, but I wouldn't choose this for my all day needing coverage, not getting oily type of day. I would have to say that out of all the L'Oreal foundations I've tried so far, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is still going to be my personal favorite. If you want to see if I give this L'Oreal True Match another try, make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. If you guys enjoy my Foundation Fridays, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair product reviews on Sundays. So I will see you all next time right here on Bianca Renee today.